Hi everybody, my name is Nathan Robb from Crazy Amazing Designs and I'm so excited to be here at the Charlotte, North Carolina Processing Center this morning for Operation Christmas Child. So we're gonna go inside and see what this place is all about. As we enter the Processing Center, we are gonna be greeted by lots of amazing volunteers. So lots of these guys are volunteers, but some of them are paid staff who have spent weeks of their lives uh, here at the Processing Center this fall and they are doing things like registration over there and getting people checked in over here. And then they go through the process of orientation. Now orientation is a very special process, teaching them all they need to know about Operation Christmas Child. Check out this dancing box. Good morning. Good morning. The mission behind Samaritan's Purse and then all they need to know for their job here. As you can see here early in the morning, there's not much going on. All the yellow shirts, workers are getting their lines ready to go for all the volunteers to start pouring in through those doors in just a few minutes. So there is a lot happening here. When the boxes come off the truck, they come down the conveyor belt and are picked up by each of these lines. Now each of these lines has up to 10 people, I think, on them, and they are taking the shoe boxes out of the cartons they are putting, taking the money out of the shoe boxes, they are taking their bands off the shoe boxes and throwing them in the boxes, and then they are sending them down the line to the next person who is processing them. They are looking through them for items that aren't supposed to be there, they're looking to add items if necessary, and then it goes to the taper. That's the next position. So the taper's job is to tape the box up and make sure it's nice and sealed. When those guys tape that box, that's the last step and then it gets thrown back in the cartons, and then the cartons are the ones that are gonna get sent off. So the cartons are gonna get split into boy and girl, and then the three age groups. Once these cartons get sealed, that's the last person to touch these two boxes before the kids get to see the boxes. So how exciting is that? So there we go, that's pretty much the processing center. Hey you guys, I'm Matt Reed. I um, work year-round at the Great Lakes Regional Office for Operation Christmas Child, coaching teams there in the Great Lakes, including in and around Wheeling. But for the shoebox season, I'm here at the Charlotte Processing Center where I'm doing the work of the receiving manager. So these are trucks that are coming in from churches, just like Wheeling Vineyard, but coming from all over the East Coast that are arriving here with shoeboxes that you all have packed. In John 8, 12, Jesus says that he is the light of the world. Whoever follows him will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So Jesus is the light of the world, and these shoeboxes are the light of Jesus to the kids who receive them. Hey, follow that light. box in the box 
we basically take them and then we put them here. The pallets here are then loaded with about 16 on each one of them. And what we'll also do is we'll get it from the entire line, like going straight down. Um, depends on how many people get their boxes done, it can get pretty backed up. I like the idea that we believe that all of us who come in here are believers. But I talked with a young gentleman that was hired in as an associate three years ago and he had never heard the name of Jesus outside of a cuss word before he was brought here and had devotions. Wow. So for me, part of my passion is that the shoebox is the focus, but there's things happening all around that shoebox. It's not just the child receiving it. No. And so right, that right. story, that story of this young man, he came to accept Christ, he was baptized, he got married, and going from being homeless to now having a full-time job and not even needing to be hired here. Wow. Because I contacted them this year, him and his wife, and said, are we going to see you? And I got a response, two emojis, one with a huge smile and one with tears. Wow. The smile was, no, we both have full-time jobs. God has answered our prayers. And the tears were, we're not going to be seeing you. No. <laughs> I love being here um, to see the culmination of this project. You know, the area teams and our, our, our office there in the Great Lakes, we work hard to, to, to encourage churches and donors to pack the boxes and to be able to come here and see the culmination of the project, to see everything just wrap up so tightly and to know where these boxes are going. I love it. It's exciting. Hi, I'm Jenna Stevens. I serve as a regional manager year-round with Operation Christmas Child, um, supporting volunteer teams uh, across Eastern and Central North Carolina. And then this year here in the warehouse, I'm a quality control manager. This processing center actually used to be a Sam's Club, but as you can see by all the footage, it's been outfitted uh, to now serve as one of our eight processing centers around the country. Um, so it's full of activity now. Uh, the activity dies down after mid-December. And then throughout the rest of the year, it really becomes just like a typical warehouse that stores a lot of our supplies throughout the year and then um, ramps back up in mid-November. During the summer, actually, those of you who have maybe built a shoebox online before, where you can go online and kind of custom order what you want to go in your shoebox, build it just like you would be at home, uh, we have volunteers and we have associates that come support that process in the summer uh, where it becomes like a mini processing center and so they print off all your orders and then they'll fulfill basically how you built your shoebox and then that goes out um, to countries around the world in the same way. So I think that is something really cool to know that people actually build those boxes that people build online yeah. because like you hear about you go online you build those boxes and it's just like okay but to know where's someone, my order go yes. yeah <laughs> how does my order get fulfilled like right. it's so cool that someone right. actually is going yes. out and, and is building the box yes. so yeah, it's thanks. just just like the grocery store if you're picking up your groceries in the fast lane that's the same thing you fulfill your order online very quickly and then we customize it just the way yeah. you wanted it thank you so yeah, much you're i really welcome. appreciate all your hard work yes yeah, great great job thank you this is a damaged box we're doing an emergency trauma here right on site. Uh, Allison's going to be the physician. And uh, voila, the box is good as new. If boxes come off the line from the volunteers, if the box is damaged, if the box, um, if the items can't fit back into the box after they started processing, or if the item needs to be have a new QR code put onto the box, we do that here. A lot of times we get plastic containers that are very nice, but in transition and packing them and bringing them here to the processing center, they may become damaged or broken, even cracked, almost disintegrating in our hands. Can you fix this? Yeah, I have to. So is that about the worst they get? That was pretty bad. 
So we will just keep things as they are in the box. We don't process here. We remove the items, keep the integrity of the box, and put them into a new box, and then we return them to any table. So here in Gift and Kind, we actually support all the teams on both sides. So here are the filler item baskets. With these baskets, the team coaches and volunteers on the tables, they will actually insert items into the box if the box is not full enough, or if they have to take something out of the box, they will insert a new item. We have our inappropriate items. These are items that have been removed from um, Christmas boxes. That may be candy and food, medications and liquids, and also any um, toys and any other miscellaneous items that are inappropriate to send in the boxes. So the teams will remove those things from the boxes, again, use some of those filler items to insert once they take a thing, some things out. And then we take the inappropriate items and we sort them here into boxes. And those things are actually sent to local ministries. So there was a question about the processing center. So once we work a full day, like, is there a place we can eat lunch? So right here is the lunch area here at Charlotte, and it is a pretty big spot. You can have pot machines over there. You can bring your own stuff. There's refrigerators if you want to stick your stuff in there. There's even a Chick-fil-A. -la -la -la. How awesome is that? And then the restrooms are over here. You can pick up some Operation Christmas Child merchandise here at the store. You can inquire about being a year-round volunteer. Would you like a fish? I would actually love a fish. Did you know if you register your shoeboxes online, you can track them through Track My Shoebox, not follow my iPhone. So today, these boxes that are coming in, they're being processed for Ecuador and one sensitive country. Of course, the best way for a volunteer or a donor to find out where their shoeboxes went is to do the follow your box option, where you print off a, a label from um, SamaritansPurse.org slash OCC, and then we will send you an email telling you exactly what country your shoe box went to. But we know the ones we're doing today are going to Ecuador and to one sensitive country. Okay, when we get the boxes in, we take the rubber bands off the outside. Most of the um, boxes have the rubber bands. So we take the rubber bands, and no, you'd think they'd be garbage, but they're not. We put them inside the box so the kids can make a rubber ball, or the girls can use it for their hair. So it's pretty cool. So at every processing center, there is a wall such as this. This is the prayer wall. 
If you have a prayer, you can write on the back of one of these uh, photos or you can write a note about the photo. For example, right here, the individual wrote, the joy in your face was a gift to my heart. How cool is that? And then if we turn it around, we'll see this adorable picture. You can leave a prayer request right here also. So you're probably wondering what all the yelling's about. When you fill a carton full of solid OCC boxes, you get to yell. Hey guys, we filled a carton. Are we gonna yell? Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! I really appreciate y'all being here today. Thank you very much for being part of this. It is very important that we have our volunteers here, and so thank you for being a really good team. Appreciate it. I'm gonna pray with you now and pray you out of here, okay? Heavenly Father, we want to lift up this team of volunteers and just thank you for them. I want to thank you for their heart of service and just pray you continue to grow that heart of service. Just pray for safe travel as they go. And just we want to pray for the shoeboxes we've handled today that they will touch lives for your gospel. In Jesus' name, amen. So there you go. That was the Operation Christmas Child Processing Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thanks so much for checking this out. As a volunteer on your way out, you're welcome to grab a t-shirt just for you guys. So again, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. If you have any questions about the Processing Center, leave them in the comments on this video and we will do our best to answer them. Have a wonderful day. Bye.